Howdy folks, David from Figma here, and I'm gonna walk you through how you can import your Jamboards to FigJam using our importer. Let's say I have a Jamboard, and it has some pretty awesome elements in it that I want to save and bring over to FigJam so I don't lose it when Jamboard ends. The first thing I'll want to do is log into figma.com. Then I'll go to the top right here and click on import. I'll then click on from Jamboard, continue, select the account I want to import from, scroll down and continue, and here I am at the importer. I can select any one of these Jamboards to import. I can also hold down shift and select multiple to import at the same time. You can search through your Jamboards by selecting last modified, last modified by you, last opened by you, the name of them, and you can also type into the text field here to search for the specific name of that Jamboard. I wanna find my Jamboard on traffic jams. Let's click on that one and select. When it is done importing, it'll tell you that your file has imported successfully. Let's click done and open it on up. You'll see that each one of my pages from my Jamboard has been imported as a frame. Let's zoom in. As we inspect further, you'll see that each one of your sticky notes has also been made into an editable sticky note. A couple things you can do is add an authorship, continue editing the text, edit the formatting of the text, change the color of the sticky note, and so much more. Text from Jamboard can also be edited, and if you have drawings that are brought over, you can multi-select those strokes and you can change them in bulk, or you can select the individual stroke and edit that as you'd like. Backgrounds from Jamboard will change into backgrounds of your section, and if you were to change the size, it will remain in the very center of that section. If you want to change that, select the section and go ahead and change it. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's bring it back. Shapes are now the native shapes that are found in FigJam. I am going to copy and paste my text that was from my Jamboard and bring it on into my shape. I can now change the color of my shapes and even add connectors and edit those connectors to make it stand out just a little bit more. If you want to horizontally align all of your sections, you can select the ones at the bottom and drag them over so that they align similar to how you had it inside of Jamboard. And that's it folks. I hope that your transition from Jamboard to FigJam is simple and easy. Have a good one and we'll catch you later.